tell me what to say. Hello, welcome to an exciting new episode of Serious Nivage with SBOA Brown and Gourmet Pens. Gourmet Pens, Gourmet Pens, Gourmet Pens, Gourmet Pens. I saved time today. Ah. Today we're going to have a look at a pen that sucks. What? Oh. The Twisby oh. Vac Mini. It was a joke because it depends on a vacuum that exists to fill it, so it sucks up ink. What was your first impressions? No, wait, let's first say that Dennis from La Couronne du Comte sent us this pen for review. Well, actually, purposes. Dennis and Rick. And they Rick, both because had people it. always say Dennis, but there's Rick too. Yes. Give Rick some love. Actually, so we are not he sure who it. sent it. One of them has orchestrated or the sending. Rick has sent it to us. We have reviewed it. Yes, we have. And now we will serious nibbage it, and then at the end of the serious nibbage, we will give you instructions to enter the giveaway. And you can win. You, right there, you can win this pen. This very pen! Okay. Okay, that's enough uh, teenager excitement. Yes. Uh, what was your first impressions of the pen? First impressions. Personally, I am a fan of Twisby's packaging. There is a box. It's very tidy. It's very minimalist, very clean. And it's also not excessive, I don't think. So... The only thing that's excessive is the ridiculous amount of foam padding that comes inside. Then there is the pen in one of these clear plastic cases. That's oh, kind of useful. You want to take a quick nap, then you can sort of... And then keep going. And <laughs> under this white section, you get a wrench to disassemble your pen and a little bottle of... Um, silicone grease. Liquidy silicone grease. It also comes with, you know, pen instructions, which are at the bottom, and I don't really feel like going anywhere. So, first impressions. Pen? I... I so I'm a fan of Twisby's packaging. I, I also think it's useful, reusable, etc. Uh, the pen, it's very cute. It's I, I, I mean, at a first glance, there's nothing glaringly like weird or hideous or wrong about it. It's a clear, relatively small pen. So, I uh, yeah, my first impression is very positive. What about you? My first impressions, yeah, I'd say you covered the box uh, very well, I think. I'm very good at that. Yeah, I know, I know. Uh, my uh, my first impressions were, yes, yeah, it's, it's a small vacuum filled pen. We've I, I've had the VAC 700 a long time ago when that came out. Um, it's, uh, yeah, it's it's a cute little pen. I mean, people like the, the Twisby mini pens. That was the mini and now there's this. People go berserk over Twisby. Uh, so, uh, yeah, it, it's it's a nice one. It's, it's a, a cute little pen. That yep. was my first impression. All right. What makes it special, SBRE Brown? Well, I guess what makes it special is that it has a, a vacuum filling system, so it's one of those things, you, you unscrew this, you take it out, you put it in a bottle of ink, you push that in, ink is drawn up, you close that again, or you open, leave it open a little bit, and then you uh, you can write with it, and uh, that's uh, that's pretty much all there's to it. So it's it's uh, not the average cartridge controls with filling system. No, that's but that's pretty cool to have a vacuum filling system in such a small portable pen. What was your writing experience like? Uh, this is equipped with a broad steel nib. You can also get a extra fine, fine, medium, or a stub for an additional small fee. And um, the writing experience, the broad is very pleasant. It is well polished, but not over polished. So it was smooth, it didn't, it didn't skip. It doesn't hard start. It, it is fairly stiff, so not much in the way of line variation, which is fine. But um, just using it, it was very pleasant. Now, I think we... we what, should we move into the next step? Yeah, because, yeah. Same for you. I, I agree. Yeah, yeah. The nib is definitely it works. It's smooth. It's well, nice. I guess for one other thing I could say, it is a small pen, right? So for me, this is not an issue. I can use it unposted. Uh, I think if you're looking for a comfortable writing experience and you have like giant hands, you're gonna have to post it or something. So it is designed to post. The it cross threads quite a lot. It's really annoying. Um, so it does post to a decent, comfortable size. Anyway, um, yeah. So the nib was decent, and. The only thing that really ruined the ex writing experience for me was, and you, mm -hmm. was um, that it ran dry. Yeah, completely dry. It just stops writing. Like, totally. And yes, we unscrewed the knob. And yes... Which is something you have to you do know, with the vacuum filler. For 
long writing sessions yeah. and I also tried it without having it unscrewed and of course it runs dry and that's expected but when it was open and I wiggled it I pulled it out a little so that there were trying to make sure there was nothing in the way of the seal but it still ran dry after you know, like half a page a paragraph um, and we changed inks, we cleaned it well, we we tried all sorts of things and we also had a friend try it and she didn't believe us at first, she was like, no, it's working fine. And then she's writing that all of a sudden just completely dry. It, it's really odd. Um, so that's unfortunate. What did somebody explain to yeah, you? Yeah, well, one you thing that show. I, I mean, there's two, there's two things that, that I have understood since then. So apparently, whereas normally with this type of pen, uh, it's fine to just unscrew the thing so the end cap especially with this with the twist B apparently have to really pull out the whole thing uh, now the problem with that is that if you pull it out too far and it's inked and you push this back in ink will fly out yeah. so that's not too great uh, another issue or another uh, option is that uh, apparently there is an o-ring in here somewhere uh, which you can take out and then it stops doing that that of course begs the question of then why is it in there in the first place but that doesn't but, happen to everybody no so it's a completely random process so i your pen may or may not run dry we we don't really know um some people report no issues with it so but maybe, other people you know, report that we're not the only ones yeah we're not the only ones other people have had the same issue yeah, yeah. now that doesn't really affect how pleasant the nib is but no. I mean, if you're in a marathon note-taking session in some, like, in the world's most important lecture and your pen runs dry, you you probably don't want to be going, like, you know... Yeah, because it's not a matter of you tap it twice and it starts up again. I mean, it is it's completely like, dry. Like desiccated feed Like dry. Kalahari Desert dry. Okay. That's how dry it so is. So, that's very unfortunate. Like, I think... no rain in a desert. Okay. Uh, so, what do you love about it? insert cricket noise. No, it's cute, it's small, it's portable, it has a vacuum filling system, it has a big ink capacity, the nib when it writes it's very smooth, so I do think there is stuff to love about this pen. It's cute, it's not even that expensive. Come back to that in one sec. It's also uh, but very pretty. Yeah, it's, it's you know, it, it looks cute, so I, I think there are definitely things to love. Yeah, I, I do agree. It, it It's affordable. I really like their finials with their uh, the glossy dome mm -hmm. and their Twisby logo. Um, I love clear pens and they also have this faceted barrel which I find very nice so I think that's very pretty uh, it's it, it's a little bigger than like a totally pocket pen so it's kind of a nice size and great filling system I mean it's really cool and if you fill it up completely which I think you need their VAC 20A bottle to do so because remember you tried to do yeah, it and you could yeah, only and get it three quarters good, so I, I don't know in any case, Even you can so, fill it. You, you can, can fill, fill it. it completely, and it holds um, two mils, mm -hmm. which is so. it's a pretty decent amount yeah, for such absolutely. a little pen. And it looks really nice when it's full. It also looks really nice empty. So you can disassemble it. You you get the wrench. You get the grease. I mean, they provide you a pretty solid package. Yeah, absolutely. Except some of them run dry. So. And are then basically unusable until you get the inflow started again. I think that is a big issue. They really need to fix that. I, I think given what the pen is intended for, I mean, it's a it's a portable note-taking pen, yeah, I guess. I absolutely. mean, a vacuum filler, you probably want a large ink capacity because you're going to be using it for a lot of notes. Yeah. So, I don't know, that seems kind of inconvenient. Yeah, but, I agree. Um, yeah, that's a bit annoying. Eh? Yeah, it's annoying. I mean, a pen should write. It's that simple. So no matter what the price is, it should write. So they really need to fix that. And once they fix that, you'll probably have a very nice pen. Because, I mean, the nib work is... Quite impressive, I yeah, think. Yeah, it's it, pretty it really, decent. You know, yeah, works. I mean, it actually writes. Yeah, on my so sometimes. that's really good. Um, another thing I don't really like is there's like 30 bajillion different fonts on the center band. Not really 30. There is Twisby in one font, VAC in another, Mini in another, and Taiwan. So, I mean, they're all various sizes. It's very... It's a bit messy. It's not cohesive. Yeah. So, yeah. Very minor, though. I mean, it's not really the end of the world. To me, the biggest issue was the running dry. So, yeah. yeah. It has also been pointed out... The clip out, is very wiggly. It has been pointed out to me by someone, I forgot who, I'm sorry, but someone said, you know, you see this often when 
machining tolerances are extremely tight with companies that they compensate for that by putting in all kinds of O-rings. Um, and I'm, yes. I'm not at all trying to bash on Twisby, but this it's pen has a here, lot of O-rings. Uh, so there's ring I inside. can see... But they just look ugly on the outside. I mean, I don't really... Yeah. yeah. Anyway. So, anyway, it's all minor things that kind of add up. All minor, because I think overall they have provided a pretty yeah, decent pen. Yeah, they have a very pen. good design. Yeah, if, if they can smooth out those those small hiccups, then, or in the case of not writing, I would say larger hiccup, then they, they definitely have an interesting pen in, in their hands. It's uh, in hand. In, yeah. In, you know, at, yeah. At, on hand, and made. Very nice. Would you buy it? Uh, it is 69 euros. The stub upgrade, that's with that. The stub upgrade is 3 euros. And I wonder why it's an extra price. I mean, extra cost, I guess, different I feed. Um, I wonder if they should not put that on the broad. But would well, I buy it? I, I like the vacuum filling system, but I do not like pens that I have to thread to post. So... Between that and the fact that it runs dry, I wouldn't. But if I know someone who's really into this kind of thing, I do think it's a stellar gift. You know, so for myself, I wouldn't. But if there's an appropriate recipient, I wouldn't. It's not like I would say, mm, not ever going to get that pen or something, you know? Yeah, I, I see two major issues. The, the running dry is one, and this, of course, and it now it doesn't thread. happen, but it, yeah, there yeah. you go. It, it cross threads very easily when you try to put it on, then it's on in a skewed fashion. I mean, you can fix off. it with ease, but it's I mean, annoying because yeah. you've got to post you see, it I'm, with threading. It's just that is not that great. Yeah. But having said that, cute little pen, big ink capacity, I mean, it has a lot going for it. But if you are going to get one for someone as a gift, then I would really try it out first by yourself to see that it really writes well. Because, of course, if you're gifting it, if it doesn't write, it's a bit of an issue. Good point. Now, is it or is it not? Serious image. Serious image meter. <laughs> this is not an exact science. Please remember this. This is based on arbitrary things and feelings. Not serious. Very serious. Um, to be honest, I think this is pretty decent. I, I'm annoyed that it runs dry, but I have heard... What annoys me is not that the mind runs dry, it's that half the people out there have one that does, and half the people out there have one that doesn't, so it's very inconsistent. Um, but you get a clear pen, you get a tool, like the tool, you get the grease, you get nice packaging that's not excessive, um, you get a vacuum filler, and a pleasant nib. You also get a range from extra fine to broad, plus a stub, so I think... They offer a lot in for 70 euros, you know, give or take a few dollars, depending where you get it. Um, so I find that pretty impressive. I think they can work a bit on some of the details, but I mean, overall, it's, it's, it's hard to argue with. It's yep. not really the pen for me, but um, I, I, I can understand like, and appreciate what it is. So what do you think? Yeah, I agree. I agree. I, 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 because I really find the running dry issue quite big, especially because a lot of people have that. So for me, I would put it down. Sorry, I would put that down a little bit more like that. Um, but yeah, it's, it's also not a multiple hundreds of dollars pen. So yeah, I, I, I accept that for what it is. Now, question: What else could you pick? About seventy euros that gives you some money. Lamy Studio. And a steel other, studio, but there's also other Twisbees. Like the Twisbees, of course. There's the 580, there's also the, the VAC 700, which is just a Mini. bit more. Twisbee Mini, which, which is a piston. Which did not run dry, and as far as I know. Dry. Haven't heard of that. Um, um, you could also look at... What else we got? Yeah, I mean, it's... it's I mean, 70 euros, you can you can get a... You can probably get something in the park or a water Something range, like a Monteverde uh, Intima... Um, Conklin Jurograph, which is, you know, within $20 or so. Um, there's quite a few options, I think. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. But if you're looking for a vacuum filler, you're probably not going to find one at this price, except for this. Yeah. I mean, unless you're going into vintage, but let's assume we're just talking modern yeah. pen. Yeah. yeah, I would say so. All right. So, what can you do to win this? To win? To let's do, let's ask one thing. But pay attention to the second one that I will also add it. 
why don't you tell us why you love Twisby? Like, what you love about them. If you own a Twisby, what do you love about it? Or what do you love about the company? So... Leave a comment. Leave a comment in the YouTube video. And, um... Because I'm assuming this is where you're watching it. If you're watching it on my site, you can leave a comment there. If you're watching it on his site, you can leave a comment on his. We'll take everything into account. We will conglomerate the comments. And it is open worldwide. Then we will a pick a winner, winner on Monday night, but listen, it's not like Monday night we'll pick the winner and then announce it like Tuesday morning. We will contact the winner. If you are the winner, you will be contacted, but we will also update the posts and the video to let you know who the winner is. The other thing that we request is that you have Instagram. You can um, also Twitter. Please check out Lacun on Decont on Instagram and Twitter. So... It's not a requirement, you don't have to do it, but, you know, if you give them support, then they can give us stuff to give to you. Like this! Sounds good to me. And on Instagram, they are La Coudon de Comte, with underscores in between, and on Twitter, they are Coudon de Comte. That's all. And that's all. So, thanks again to Dennis and or Rick for sending us this. We really appreciate it. Uh, some lucky person is going to win this. If you want one without... Waiting, you can use the discount codes for 10% off. I don't know what yours is, but mine is Gourmet 10. And I think mine is, I want to say Brown 10. I think it's Brown 10. So. Yeah, so you can get it from like a one gold there. Anyway. With a discount, and that's all it's to it. That is all there is. We hope this was useful. We'll Twisby you later. That sounds really wrong. I, uh... Sorry! Vacuolator? Nope, that Let's sounds worse. Let's see <laughs> uh, Bye! Bye! <laughs>